I, I want to move into buy or sell segment. So this is my uh, my attempt to kind of merge the the traditional financial advice of just investment management with uh, kind of the future of technology. So what I'll do is I have four statements here. We'll just go through buy or sell. Uh, buy if you agree, sell if you disagree, and we can just do kind of one or two sentences of why you're leaning one way or the other and see if you're a bull or a bear here. Um, all right, buy or sell. Clients like to be connected with their financial advisor on social media. Um, I would say buy. I think that we need to be where our clients are. Um, since, since most of the time they're on their phone, I think we, we need to be directly where that's at and we're going to need that, that technology and social media to connect with them. I agree. We want to learn. Our, our clients come in and tell us their whole life story. They should hear a little bit about what we're doing too. Um, buy or sell. In the next seven years, the top reason that clients leave advisors will be because of a lack of technological innovation. Um, I'm going to say buy with a limit order. <laughs> so so uh, uh, I, I think the primary reason that, that clients are going to leave to, you know, in the next seven years, because we're still going to be dealing with the boom, mostly boomer generations, will be because of communication. Um, but technology, in my opinion, could you know exponentially assist with that communication. But you know, further out, yeah, I think for absolutely is going to be technological innovation. I think when the uh, Gen X and Gen Yers, if you don't have an app and can interact with them, you know, via text message or an app, I, don't, I think that's going to be a you know no go for them. Yeah. Uh, I, I can see that. And I think that the baby boomer generation is going to take some time to evolve as well. Number yep. three, uh, buy or sell. Advisors that say they can't see an ROI on investments in technology are just not adopting technology for the right reasons. Um, I would say absolutely buy. Um, you know, technology is one of the largest things that, in my opinion, that allows us to compete with the big players. Um, without it, you know, I, don't, I mean, I think it'd be hard for any of us, you know, when I say big players, the, the major custodians, the super RAs, um, I just think we have to be there. I think, uh, I think actually Apple trademarked that statement of there's an app for that. Um, so yeah, I think we have to, I think we, I, I don't think it's a want anymore. It has to be a necessity. Yep. And I agree with that. I think that ROI, I mean, we look too much into um, you know ROI on an investment basis and technology. If it's if it's saving you time, right, an hour a day, what does that mean, right? That's your ROI from that standpoint. Um, so the last one, and we alluded to this a little bit before in our last uh, in, in the, one of the last points, but buy or sell. The AUM annual percentage fee will still be the most common way of charging for investment advisor services ten years from today. Uh, that'll give me a sell. Yeah. I think we're going to go to more flat fee and you know trans, you know uh, subscription based pricing. Yep, I'm in. Uh, I, I can see that for sure. I, I can see that. I think that it's going it, to it'll probably be on the latter half, of the you know the far end of that ten years because of the amount of you know, yeah. just people being comfortable with the AUM fee. But I think that that is going to be a driver uh, in an innovation that's happening of how we how we do charge for our services. 